You see, my father was saved by a Jewish doctor because the Arab doctors couldn't figure out what, what's wrong with him. Until today, I ask my Arab, my Arab father, I ask him, why don't you pray for the Jewish doctor who saved your life? And his answer is simply put, is that I cannot pray for my enemy. But in a Jewish book, I learned that I must pray for my enemy and love my enemy, exactly as what she was saying. That's why the Jew knows love more than anybody else. That's why it's the Jew who will rescue a Muslim, a Lebanese, regardless of their religion, regardless of their background, in the hospitals. It was a Jew who saved my cousin, Ibrahim, Awadallah, who drowned in the Mediterranean Sea. When two other Muslims started to rescue him, they both drowned and died. A Jew comes by and he takes empty gallons from the trunk of his car, swims towards him and rescues his life. But when I went to congratulate him for his life being rescued, and I mentioned to him that it was a Jew who rescued your life, I was instantly yanked out of the room and told and scourged, don't you ever mention that a Jew rescued his life. He hates the thought of a Jew rescuing his life. The question is, why do you still do it? Why do you still rescue us even though we want to murder you? Why do you hide your children while we put our children in the front to die so we can make propaganda? Why do we sell our children to the god Mulech in terrorism? Why do we sacrifice our children for such a religion that teaches hatred? Why do we do it? Why is there so much evil in today's world?